All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today as we celebrate uh, this Mass, we offer this Mass for the special intentions of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Goodall. We ask God for his pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear these words. O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Does a lion roar in the forest if it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seen something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no law for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, Will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought upon you such upheaval as when people of overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire. Yet you turned not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, Prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O Lord, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me, Lord, in your justice. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me, me in your, your justice, justice, Lord. Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O oh Lord. I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. 
got into a boat his disciples followed him suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves but he was asleep they came and woke him saying Lord save us we are perishing he said to them why are you terrified oh you little of faith then he got up rebuked the winds and the sea and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, what sort of man is this whom even the winds and the sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> what sort of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? One of the clearest signs uh, early on for the uh, disciples that Jesus was more than an ordinary rabbi uh, was uh, the clearest sign was the impact of his words uh, besides the wisdom and insights of his words the profound truth that he spoke it was the car the impact and so he you know when he spoke to the winds and the sea it obeyed him uh, it was the story of a man you know possessed by a demon and Jesus said quiet come out of him and it, and it did uh, you know, Jesus goes to a, a little girl that everyone says is dead because she is, but he says, little girl, arise, and she gets up. Uh, again and again and again, Jesus speaks to a deaf person and he hears. Jesus speaks to a dead person and they answer. It's like, who is this? Because the only person we can think of, the only being we can think of whose words have that kind of effect, up to that point, they'd say, it's God. How did God create the world? He just started talking. Let there be light, let there be sea, let there be a sky, let there be earth. And what is the mantra in Genesis chapter 1? God said, and so it happened. God said, and so it happened. That is the, that's the mantra. God said it, and it happened. Um, you see in the scriptures today, to the, uh, uh, when from the prophet Amos, he clearly again speaks about justice. Uh, and about how God, you know, uh, cries out, God is a... Uh, opposes the, you know, the crimes and the, and, and the unjust behavior of the world and it basically says in the end uh, he says so I will deal with you O Israel and since I will deal with you thus uh, prepare to meet your God that ultimately however we live how we treat one another justly or unjustly ultimately we all have to answer to God we all you know our lives here are temporary we'll have to give an answer to God on why you know why we did or did not love our neighbor as ourselves. Why we did not heed his commandment to love one another as he loved us. So the point is that justice begins with God. First, it, it, end, it ends with God. But it also begins with God. To, ju to do justice is to give what is, some, what, what is due someone. To give what you owe them. What they deserve. So justice begins. Now even before, before I do, do anything to you or treat you in any way. First, the justice is about, am I giving God what is his due? Am I just to God? Do I give God what God is owed? So in the, in the Mass, we say, Lord, uh, you know, let us give thanks and praise to God. We say it is right and it is just. Praising God is acting justly. Refusing to praise is unjust. Uh, serving God is to be just. To not refuse to serve Him is to be unjust. Uh, you know, to uh, obey His commands uh, is justice. Not to obey them is unjust. And so, uh, if we, first of all, say, am I giving God what is due? That will be the key to me giving my neighbor what is his or her due. If I give God what God, oh God, which is my life uh, and my obedience. So, while it must have been the most amazing thing for the disciples to see, you know, they were amazed, they said, that the winds and the sea obey him. But you know what's even more amazing? It's to see human beings obey Him.
Let us bring before the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Spirit, spreading the good news of God's enduring love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in our world, for an end of the scourge of violence and war, poverty and injustice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for deliverance from this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our, our, our brothers and sisters who are sick, those in hospitals or nursing homes, those preparing for surgery and those recovering from surgery that they may experience a speedy recovery and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all those who lack the basic necessities of life, especially food, shelter, employment, health care, friends and family to support them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our world, especially in the face of poverty and other injustices, that the goods of the world that God has given to all people be distributed uh, fairly and justly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always saying our prayers. We ask with confidence, for we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands shall become for us the bread of life. Yes, be God, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. But through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it shall become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, Grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. So lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, with the clergy and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to mention it, and I am not able. Let's only say the word. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I lay down my life for my sheep. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, angels bow before him, heaven and earth. 